welcome to FSMS Advertising. I'm here with the proprietor, Mr. Clenson. He's been very gracious to host us, to show us the different bonding techniques using the different glues. They're a very experienced fabricator located here in Kusais, and he will run us through the different uh, techniques you need to use when you use different glues for bonding acrylic along with his team. So let's go check them out. Let's follow us inside. We will be demoing the bonding using 127 Acrifix. So to show the bonding for Acrifix 127, I have with me Jos and Mr. Godfrey, who will show us how to use. So 127, I think, is the easiest. Will you agree? Is the closest yes, to yes, use? The easiest. Easiest, comp similar to like uh, chloroform, chloroform yeah. or uh, uh, acrylic cement. So it's only one component, uh, very watery. Yeah, very watery. Yeah. And. Uh, Less thickness. less thickness. I think you can use it in any temperature also, no, no problem. No problem. Doesn't no, matter any, if it's... Yeah, any climate also. No. Okay. Yeah. So, I think one of the main considerations is also the thickness. What will yeah, you say is the minimum and maximum you can use for this? No, this is uh, this 127 uh, for... Uh, we are not using for the heavy purpose. Okay. The medium, normal medium purpose. We can use from uh, 4 mm to up to 10 mm, till 10 mm we can use. 4 to 10. Yeah. So, we can maybe show now a 90 degree bonding. Yeah, now we will, uh, we can show the straight, the straight one. Okay. After that, we can show the 90 degree. Okay, let's do a straight bonding. Yeah. When we are uh, putting uh, acrylic, apply, when we are going to apply the acrylic, uh, acrylic fix, yeah. one, two, seven. Before that, uh, we should clean with the uh, thinner. It is called uh, 0030. Yes. It is acrylic fix thinner, uh, the acrylic fix thinner actually. Uh, in the surface where we, give, we are going to stick the acrylic, we should uh, clean with this uh, thinner. After that, the, the, he is uh, cleaning the edge of the acrylic because after the laser cutting, the surface will be very smooth. When we are going to apply the acrylic, the surface should be rough. That's why he put the blades to get the surface clean. Then only the acrylic, acrylic will catch the tip. This uh, uh, scraping or polishing of the blade, yeah. usually you are doing that only for this glue or for all other glues also? No, for other glues uh, glue also, okay. yeah. <laughs> but for the chloroform, yeah. not required, okay. but for getting strong, we can do. Okay. So now with the syringe, he's yeah, applying syringe. small quantity to the edge. So this you classify as the straight bond, correct? Yes, straight bonding. Straight, yes, straight bond. So generally this is also the faster bonding. This is the faster and more uh, strong than uh, chloroform. Okay. Ready now? Yeah, Did it is wait finished. after it is bonded to, or is the bond strong? No, it is, yeah, it is a few seconds, yeah, yeah. 100% strength? Yeah, yeah. Will it increase later, the strength or? The, maybe, yeah, uh, with uh, one uh, 60 seconds, we can uh, hold it. Okay. For getting strong. I'll remove this paper. Yeah. Just to. So you can see it's a, okay, so this is a perfect bond, yeah, almost. Perfect bond with, uh, without bubbles. Almost, no bubbles, no. Yeah. If so, we are going to make in chloroform, we cannot uh, get achieve this, this finish. This finish, yeah. So this is the advantage of this uh, 0127 acrylic. Yep. Yeah. So still, we have a very strong bond and perfectly done. And the perfectly will clear be a high finish. Finishing we will, uh, and very easy to finish. Yeah. So this is definitely the easiest we can this say. It's easiest on uh, the climate wise, no tension. At any climate, uh, this is the same method. We can apply that. So generally from 2 mm up to 10 mm also? Not, uh, 2 mm we are not advising for this one. Okay. Uh, minimum uh, 4 mm to 4 mm to is up to is very great because okay. 2 mm means there is no side wall to hold this. Uh, ah, okay. yeah, there is chance to break or uh, to remove from the base. Okay. 2.8 2 also? Yeah, 2.8 also advisable. Okay. But the best advice is 
try to use minimum for a month for this activity. For this, for the perfect finish. Yeah, for two for a long period. Okay. For the usage for the long period. Okay. So any other type apart from straight bond, do you use uh, Acrylfix one two seven for yeah, any other? Yeah, Ninety degree. Forty five degree. degree. Yeah, we are using forty five degree and uh, we we are using that. You bevel, you cut yeah, bevel 45 degrees. Machine, yeah. You hold it. Yeah, hold it. Uh, there is a bonding tape. Okay. We will fix with the bonding tape and uh, we apply the acrylic. The yeah, the same. And the first we'll use this. Uh, whenever we are going to apply the acrylic, okay. we should clean with this thinner. This is called acrylic thinner actually. Zero zero three zero. It will not forget. And while we are using this uh, acrylic. Maybe there is a chance to fall down a near area. Yes. Then at the same time we should clean it. With clean with this thinner. If the acrylic falls in any of the open areas, will it uh, yeah, spoil the that's, finish? Yeah. No, at the same time we should uh, immediately. Clean with this thing. If you clean it immediately, yeah, no. Immediately. Problem. Otherwise, it will spoil. Okay. Anything else you want to add? No, for this the, is, no, this is the maximum. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you very much for the demo. Thank you. Sir. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you or somebody you know is looking for any type of fabrication work, especially involving acrylic or polycarbonate and even wood, please make sure to get in touch with Mr. Clenson at FSMS. They will definitely help you out and give you a very competitive and very high quality work. Please make sure to check for that contact information in the description of this video so you can get in touch with them. And thank you again, Mr. Clenson and the team at FSMS for helping us with this video.